What is up, guys? It's Albino Totodile here. And today we're going to be, for May the 4th, we're going to be showing you how to make your own custom Star Wars Pokemon card. Or just any Pokemon card at all. I'm just using this Star Wars Pokemon card. So let's get into the tutorial. The things you'll need. Get some clear nail polish. Make sure you have a Pokemon card. Doesn't matter what you want. It could be energy, common, uncommon, rare if you somehow want it, or ultra rare. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have a Pokemon card. I'm going to use an energy. Here are the things you'll need. First, you'll need some clear nail polish. A Pokemon card, doesn't matter which card, common, uncommon, energy, ultra rare, rare, I don't really care. Just, I rhymed. <laughs> Just pick a, a card. You'll need some scissors. Exacto nice would be better. You will need a glue stick and a sleeve of your choice. You'll also need a laptop. So, a laptop and a printer. So, you also need internet connection. <laughs> so, here we go. You'll need to go to Microsoft Word or Notepad first, and then go to, like, one of the best websites is Pokemon.com, because Pokemon.com, because if you pick a, whichever Pokemon you pick, they have a card of every single one of the Pokemons, and I'm guessing you guys will want an EX, so you can just go to Pokedex for that to load. Basically, scroll down. It'll have different Pokemon. You just pick one. Well, that's the wrong thing. We'll just pick one. And if you scroll down far enough, you'll find cards. And then just copy it. Which I'm actually going to go to file because the card that I have is in here. Sith Lucario, and so just you can just go right here, copy, bring it over here, paste, and then you could like get one of the other Pokemon cards if you make made it custom, set it over here, and just like size it down to be the actual size of the Pokemon card. Uh, and then you print it off. After you print it off, you should have a sheet of paper with your card on it. Make sure that it's the right size. I can't stress that enough. Just make sure that it's the right size. Sith Lucario EX. And then you want to cut it out with your scissors. So you want to cut it out with your scissors. Don't cut it all the way to the side. Just cut it to uh, close. It's so about right there. Make sure that you cut all the edges and get it really, really good. Put in the comment section what you guys are doing for May the 4th. I, j I want some ideas maybe for next year's video. My friend Sonic is going to try to upload a video of Minecraft on his channel, but they're all dressed up as Star Wars characters. Here's the finished card. So I'd like you guys to go check that out. Then It's in the comment section below. Okay, so here's the next step. So get your Pokemon card, and then... Get your glue, your glue stick. 
take the cap off and just like glue it very, 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 very good. Make it look very nice. And then put your Pokemon card, try to like center it very nicely onto it. Finish gluing some of the parts that didn't get glued that well. This is pretty much what you'll have. And then you want to get your scissors back out. Turn it around. Okay. See all this excess white? You want to cut all that off. All the excess. Everything. All this excess white. So we're going to cut this off. Make sure you get it to the thinnest that you can. Cut right up against the edge, but don't make sure not to cut the card. Just cut right up against the edge. Okay. So now that you have that done, get your clear nail polish, and this is going to be the adding all the shine and stuff. So get your nail polish, screw off the lid, okay? It should be dipped well, but you want to get all the good parts that you want to shine, touch it up. It's so like, I'm going to get the lightsaber very good. I'm going to make sure that the lightsaber turns out awesome. Don't worry about putting too much, or if you have too much, it will shine. Either way, if you put too much or not, make sure to shine up all the pieces that you want, like the energies and stuff. And don't be afraid to go back and dip again. See, I'm dipping a second time, or a third. To add some more gloss, and I'm going to shine up that name. Get everything very, very shiny. So now that the nail polish has dried, we're going to sleeve up the card in a white sleeve. Ah, and it looks just like a real Pokemon card. You can't really see the gloss from this angle, but you can see it better in person. It looks very, very glossy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and, you're, and you made your own custom May the 4th Pokemon card. I really, really think this Lucario turned out. Tell me in the comment section how you, how you think this Pokemon card turned out. It looks sick to me. I think it looks good. It's got Force Choke with 120 damage, Dark Side when damaged at 30 attack to Force Choke, and then it's got 210, and it's the Fire since that. It's got a, it's resistance is Dark since the Dark Side, it's weakness is Colorless. Because light side, you understand. But I think this turned out very well. And tell me in the comment section if you made it and what Pokemon you used. And how you guys are enjoying your May the 4th. Well, till next time. See ya. And may the force be with you.